Editing your test in Functionize is fast and easy. We give you multiple ways to edit a test, from the test detail page, using live debug, and also from the slider view page. From the test detail page, the actions tab shows you the test instructions and actions independent of any execution result. The browser tabs also include the results from the latest run on each browser. Make changes to your test from any of these tabs, and these changes will apply for all browsers the next time your test runs. To make changes to an existing test, click on the step to expand the action settings. From here, you can edit, delete, or clone the step. Let's say you want to modify your verification text. Just click to expand, modify, and click save. The next time the test runs, the new input verification will be used. Customize tests with code in multiple ways, all from the action settings area. Add reusable code snippets with extensions, or use JavaScript to specify the outcome overrides, selector overrides, and pre and post scripts. To add test data to your test, expand your action and click Add Test Data to map your data source. To add new steps from the test detail page, you can use one of three options. First, for simple actions that interact with the existing page, insert the action using the plus icon in between your steps. Or, to add actions with new elements or new pages, click Local Edit. This will launch Architect and your application on your local browser, so you can record the new actions. Or lastly, add new steps while running your tests in Live Debug. Set breakpoints in advance or pause the test. This allows you to interact with the live running test in a clean virtual machine. From here, use Architect to add new steps and make changes to your test. See the effects without having to rerun the test. Simply resume the run to see your changes in action. From the slider view, click on the action settings to edit, delete, or clone any step. For example, you can change the verification text. You can also add customizations to each action, whether you want to add extensions, overrides, or pre and post scripts. You can even add test data to use TDM. To add new steps, you can use one of two options. First, click on the plus icon after your action. From here, you'll see over 20 different action types, including element-based action types such as double-click, hover, and input. Just click into the smart screenshot to quick at the action and interact with the element. How does this work? Functionize collects tons of data from your application to power machine learning based features like smart screenshots. Or if you want to add actions for new pages, click local edit. This will launch architect on your application to record your new steps. 